So you tried Zift after how many tries of IVF? Five. Five IVFs over a period of three, and, three, and, three and, and a half years. years. And then a bit more, a bit more, just short to four years. Mm -hmm. And then over the next uh, several months, uh, taking us up to about four, just over four years, yeah. um, we tried two Zifts. So uh, by then we'd actually run out of eggs from the first donor, so we had to get that yeah. again. We had, to um, we had to choose a new set of donor eggs. Um, we, we secured eight because uh, we didn't need like a full bat because mm. well we didn't think we would need it, a full bat it was really uh, as if it became like a last ditch attempt it's right? a three hole key surgery so it's uh, it's <laughs> key hole surgery three three holes and what they apparently do or did with mesh she's on a table and they literally turn her upside down, upside down. Wow. okay so that uh, everything is out of the way of the uterus and then the, the zygote is implanted directly into the fallopian tubes. Right. Okay, so normally with IVF, it's in, into the endometrium and over here, so that the body can choose when it wants to actually release the, the zygote uh, for implantation. Okay, why did they recommend Zift for you guys? Because, well, what was happening? It was so. Simply put, IVF wasn't working. Yeah, yeah, but I think with me, there's. Um, the, 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 Do you want me to feel this one? Yeah, okay. maybe it's a better idea. <laughs> so, what they were finding was um, the endometrium, there's a very short uh, window mm -hmm. of when it will accept uh, a, a fertilized egg for implantation mm -hmm. and we weren't sure if we were getting it right or, or wrong uh, you can be out by 12 hours and it mm -hmm. causes a problem mm -hmm. okay that's part of the reason the, the, the power percentage chance is so small so if the body does it it does it itself that's why uh, then you which is the way it's done with Zift then it would possibly have been a a higher likelihood of success mm -hmm. so they put it into the fallopian tubes and then the fallopian tubes will then release the zygote when the body says it's ready rather than wait for a blood test or a human to tell you the doctors mm -hmm. are amazing but they 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 don't there is limitations yeah nothing's guaranteed no yeah. we've got our limitations and we have to accept it